Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the code process problem. So let's read the problem statement first. So we are given a single pile with n gold nuggets. In an operation, we can do the following: that take any pile and split it into two piles. So that resulting of piles had exactly twice as many gold nuggets as the other. So this is the condition. But mandatory thing is all piles should have an integer number of nuggets. This is the one more thing. So let's let's take this example. So like if we have six, then we can split as six. Then when we can split as two or three. Sorry, two and four, because this should be twice as this. That is the mandatory condition. So let's understand the example. Let's see. Ha. Okay. We uh, like. Can you make a pile with the exactly n gold nuggets using zero or more operations? We have to check that. If it is possible, then we have to return yes. Otherwise, no. So that is the thing. Let's take the example to understand. So let's here take six and four. Four is the target. This is the target. So we can split this as two and four. The summation of these two is six. So we can do that. And it is possible that four is also a target. Hence, our answer will be yes. Similarly, for nine and four. Okay. So let's see nine and four. Nine and target is four. What we can do? We can divide here like uh, uh, six and three. It is six is twice of three. And now this we can do four and two. So four is possible. It is possible to achieve four. So we can return yes here. Uh, let's see this example. Um, four and two. So, like, it is not possible to divide four, such that one part is double of other, and both are integers. It is not possible. That's why here answer is no. Okay, hope you got it. Let's discuss the solution for this question. One thing we have to make a q. And initially, Q will have N. So then we will pop up N, then divide into two parts. Okay, so sim simply it will be N by 2, sorry, N by 3, and twice of N by 3. This will be two parts. You can check the as they are integer or not using seal or float or floor value so you can do that <coughs> so this is the main thing and then we will push these values into Q and before that we have to uh, we can check if any of them is equal to our target if any one of them is equal to the target we will break that loop and return the answer as yes otherwise we will run a loop continuously by pushing these values and it will go on until the queue will be empty. So once the queue will be empty and we have not found any value which is equal to our target then our answer will be no. So that is the simple logic here. Hope you understand this video. Like this video. Subscribe the channel. Thank you.